Rolling, rolling. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I uh, I realize I haven't done a scent versus no scent or some sort of scent challenge in a while. And I picked up some rigs when I was actually going to go down to Lake of the Ozarks. This is a three-tiered umbrella rig. In the state of Wisconsin, we cannot have the five-tiered ones. We can only have three-tiered. I thought this would be a great way to do a scent versus no scent. The problem I had in the past with these challenge videos, I guess, is that I always had to switch rods. I do 10 minutes with one rod, 10 minutes with another, scent, no scent, live minnows, all this stuff. This is gonna make it a lot easier. So, here's what I got set up today. I actually went to Walmart. I can't remember how much these were. Bait mate, fish attracted, classic crappie and panfish versus the Berkeley power bait crappie attractant. Both of them are the, uh, the crappie baits. Come on, focus on them. No, you can do it. There we go. Both of them are crappie attractants, or so they say. So here's what I got on the three-way umbrella rig. Three-way umbrella rig. This is what happens when you block film. Your words get messed up. And whew, it's been a long day so far. I've been on the water since 6:30. It's already three o'clock. So so far, it's been a long day. But here's what I got. 16 pounds of jig heads. They're all chartreuse. All the same color and pattern of the Charlie Brewer. I think this is the grub, grub tail? Grub tail paddle swim bait. Pretty sure that's what they're called. And the way I'm gonna be able to tell the difference is the head of this uh, umbrella rig setup is kind of like a minnow. So the top tiered uh, jig, I guess, this little metal piece, that'll be one. And then I'll be able to tell left and right. Top one will be no scent. This one will be the power bait. This one will be the uh, Baitmate Classic. And we'll uh, throw it on. There's a ton of, ton of crappie right on top of these brush piles. It's classic summertime fishing. I thought this would be a great way to do this challenge. So let's uh, spray on some of these scents and get them down there. Oh yeah, and we're gonna do 20 minutes. So put 20 minutes on that clock. Thank you. And uh, we'll see how many crappie we can catch in 20 minutes. No scent, power bait, bait mate. I would have named that one something different, but you know what? I don't own the company, so. All right, so first let's put on the uh, power bait. This is gonna be the one on the left as uh, the minnow's facing me. And this is more like a goo. It's not a spray, so. It's like a gooey, lots of gooiness. Bait mate is the spray. And uh, just so we understand, I'm not gonna reload any scents. I'm not gonna reapply any scent. So we're also gonna see which one lasts the longest. So, oh yeah, I should do this downwind so it doesn't get in my boat, but it comes out like a pink color. Okay, now it's gonna get in my boat now because I got to set it down. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, hold on. I gotta show you this school. What? That's crazy. Look at that. That is all crappie. All crappie. There's some bigger ones mixed in. Let's see if we can make it work. About 25 feet in front of the boat. All right. Oh yeah, 20 minutes starts now. I three, two, one, go. Dang it, I forgot that part. Dang, they're hitting it. There he is, there's a fish. There's two fish, doubled up. Okay, what we got here? Hold steady, hold steady. Dang, okay, we got uh, one, one on the no scent and one on the right, which would have been bait mate, I believe. So one for no scent, one for bait mate. Jeez, you are musky food right there. You are musky wood. That's a snack. I've seen a couple musky on the live scope while I've been here though, so it definitely could have been one. Hitting some crappie. I can see him pushing way down towards the brush piles. Oh yeah, because there's the musky. Oh, he's swimming quick now. Dang, where are you going, bud? Wow, that's why they're bunched up so much. 
Sorry, I wish I had the active captain going. Had some issues with it. But these musky, they're not gonna quite sit in one spot, so it's a little hard to vertically jig them. They're, these musky are definitely pushing them around. Let me know if you got problems with musky when you're crappie fishing. We definitely do up here. I don't know if it's a problem, I guess if you're a musky fisherman, just find the crappie. There he is, got him that time. What are you on? <laughs> He's on the no scent. No scent two. Baitman one, Berkeley uh, power bait zero. The uh, like which order it is definitely has an effect on which one they hit, but you wouldn't think because they're all kind of out there in front, they're all at the same distance. But there he is. Oh boy, unscented again. That's the very top one. Three for unscented, or no scent. Wonder if I should have wasted that money in Walmart. There he is. Ooh, that one's on a scented one, I think. That one would be on the, uh, that's on the right side, so. Oh boy. I don't remember. Is that the bait man? Two for the bait man? I'm definitely gonna have to look at the footage. I'll let you know in the top corner who's winning. There he is. And that one's on that same one on the right. I believe that's a Bateman scent. Yeah, so there's the, yeah, that's the one on the right. I think that's three for the Bateman scent, three for unscented. I've yet to catch one on the left. That time I did. It's a little bit bigger of a crappie. Oh, that is the one on the left right there. Yep. I believe that's a Berkeley. They're right under the boat. See them right there? They're right under the boat. Oh, there we go. I'm just gonna kind of troll it around the boat and... There he is. Yep, they will hit it. Right below the boat. And that's the top one, unscented, no scent. I think it's four for no scent, three for the Bateman, and one for the Berkeley. I think they left. Oh, there he is, yep. right under the boat. And that would be uh, no scent again, wow. Sorry, Berkeley. Sorry, Bateman. They clearly like the no scent better, apparently. There's one. That might be two. That, feel, that feels heavy. I think there was two on there at one point. That one is the, uh, the one on the left. Berkeley. Coming back, Berkeley. You're coming back. We got about five minutes left in this challenge. There he is. There's a fish. Ooh, that's the one on the left again, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Berkeley, you're coming back. That's three. Unscented, I believe, has five or six. I don't know. I got the scoreboard somewhere up there.
There he is. Oh. Hold on, hold on, bud. Hooked in my shirt. Uh, where you got? And that would be the top jig. We got unscented. No scent. I believe that's six or seven for the no scent. And we got, uh, hold on. Two minutes left right now on the dot. Two minutes left there at the boat. I wonder if they're right underneath the boat. No, they're not. They're still out there. There he is. Oh, that's going to end it. That's going to end it. I think it was like two seconds over. And that one's the one on the right. So that's going to be the Baitmate Classic. I still think unscented or no scent won that challenge. Whew. I don't know. I can't honestly say they're worth the money now. But I'll still put them in the video description. Why the heck not? All right, so that's going to wrap it up. Got to... Uh... I can't even tell what, if I can get these. Yeah, there we go. Umbrella rig, Baitmate, classic panfish scent versus the Berkeley crappie scent. Unfortunately, I, th I think the unscented or the no scent won by uh, two fish maybe, two maybe three fish. So I'll still link them below in the description if you want to check them out. Um, thinking, and also post in the comments you want to see a, a scent versus no scent or another scent versus scent challenge. Sorry, we got some wave, we got some waves going on here. Uh, send first no send challenge. Let me know in the comment section below uh, You got any questions tips anything like that and it's urgent you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram You can message me on both of those platforms as well. So yeah, I might uh, I might call her a day She's starting to pick up with boat traffic a lot of wakeboard boats jet skis coming out So appreciate you watching go ahead click that subscribe button click that bell so you get notified every time you see a video like this one We'll see ya